in there with the big league, you know? Yeah. It's always just like, but no, like, you know, that for, for this, for this specific build, I would, if it were like, I would think, I would think that, uh, you'd come up with a number, see, it's kind of like this car right here, I think for like, you know, like time attack, you know, kind of road course type of car, you know, six, 650, it's decent, all wheel drive, you know? It gets you some good differentials, you know, rear, rear end. I, I, you know, I would recommend the uh, Evo 3 rear end because you got the um, plates in there, mechanical plates instead of that viscous coupler setup like we have in our 2Gs. Oh. And get you a nice uh, center diff in the um, trans, in the um, front transmission, and then, you know, put the power to it. It'll be fun. The thing will handle like a dream, you know what I mean? And you see, you, you know all the guys on uh, Instagram, they got those uh, Time and Tech cars. That, that's all they do is, you know, road course type stuff. And I think that this thing would be great, you know what I mean? What, 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 what do you say? It'll decimate all, you know, a couple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, yeah. I'm, I'm going to probably have to have you make me that, that list. Did you make me a list for I that? The track train? Well, I need to do this for everything. I got everything. I got everything. Yeah. Don't worry about that. I know. I everything. screenshot it. I know. Yeah. I have it. Every, everything. That this thing needs to do whatever you see. The, the the hard part is not really the parts. The hard part is figuring out what Memo wants to use the car for. Yeah, that's always I, I the, have fun with it. that's always the issue because you know you build a car the first time and then times change and then you decide you want to do something different with it. It's like oh shoot, let me change it. And then uh, when you change this and then it's like, oh I gotta change that, change this and this and that. But you know how it is. Oh I know. So this, once this car is done. Yeah. It's, it's going to be done. That's it? Oh, yeah. No, I get it. I and get then, it. Then, I, I'm, then, I'm, I then, totally... Then just like that car, right? Yeah. And then yeah. I'll be like, on to the next one. Yeah. The, see, the, the cool thing about building like a, a track-only cars is, is that they're they're dedicated to specifically that. You know what I mean? Like, tracks don't... Track, for the most part, is not going to go away. And if this is like, say, oh, yeah, I got this set up for Button Willow. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Five... You know, ten years from now, oh, button wheel still there? Yeah, take it out the button wheel. Go have have fun with it. Yeah, exactly. That's you know, and I and I, and I think that's a uh, cool aspect of building cars because it doesn't have to be like this uh, universal. Oh, this thing can it can stop fast, it can take turns, it can go to a quarter mile fast. No, you build it for what you want to do it, uh, use it for, it. and that's it. You know what I mean? So, but once you get that, you know what I mean. I think you'll be. Good man. What do you think of the summer? Huh. I'm never gonna get rid of my summer. Well, so. I, can't, I can't do nothing with it. Yeah, but you can still put something. You can still put something here. But you're gonna you're gonna do something special up here anyways. Yeah. So imagine if it was just to stand at that and do with this light. But then then the air would go through. Oh no no no! This got to be closed up. But clear. Yeah. Clear. And you know what you do when you when, when whoever fabs it for you make. The uh, put the weld the tabs in here, so where it can it can screw in with the uh, button head, but not button heads, but the flush mm -hmm. flush heads. So then that way, if it ever starts to crack or get like yellow from yeah, the so sun, it would have tabs. Yeah, exactly. Like and yeah, it and then it would sit. Yeah. Sit and then it would just screw on. Exactly. And then the, the rubber would ever sit on top. Exactly. Uh huh. And then that so that makes it removable, right? Yeah. So then if it ever starts fading or cracking or turning yellow, oh yeah, we'll throw another piece in. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So that, or or it's just gonna get another like a non non uh, non sunroof. Yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna skin try to skin yeah, it. You would take the to. frame out. Yeah. It's just it's it's a skin. It's only yeah. it's only eighty bucks for that. This to make it a sunroof one. This is like six hundred bucks. The skin for this. But for the the non the non sunroof one, it's like eighty bucks. Why do you want so here so so the thing for the most part is a lot of people get rid of convertibles and they get rid of sunroofs and stuff like that in the race cars is because of rigidity, right? Uh, the cars aren't as rigid because yeah. they have this big open gap. But since raw fab pulled up, you can cut you can cut from here, here, and remove this thing and make it like a targa and it's it's, it's still not gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna flex. It's, yeah, it's not gonna flex. That's why I say, hey, look, this thing looks good. Open tops, you know, some of the tops, they look good. But 
you know, it's your, you know, it's your call. How, whatever you feel no, no, I get that it. you like, but I, I mean personally, but since this thing is so rigid, there's no way I would get, I, li I like this enough, you know? Yeah, what, I, what I think also will bring light in, so That's it, exactly. for, for the, for shows or for anything, how, how it's going to reflect the, the interior and the bars. Yeah, for sure. Huh. I li I, like I said, I like the idea because if you really want it, like, to show it off, you're gonna you're gonna paint the cage a specific color or whatever. Heck, I even seen some high end cages where they do in, in this area right here. They just put a carbon fiber wrap right here, and then the people. So when people are looking through, they walk by. Like, oh, sheesh! And they can see the detail. They can see the work. And then I would do something special with this raw fab piece to make those pieces pop out because right now they kind of blend in. So like, if you were to paint the cage whatever color, don't paint that, right? So they were wrong. Yeah, right. So then it kind of, then it kind of stands out because if you spray over it, uh, it, it will still stand up because it will still because because the sun will cut the light will go through the through the cracks. I mean I don't know how big of a crack that is, but remember when you have it, you'll have a door right here. Yeah. Right. So your door is going to cover at least about a good portion of that. People are up here walking. So then, yeah, I mean, yeah. Well. It's kind of hidden, to be honest with you, right? Yeah. In a sense, it's kind of hidden. We'll see what happens. If not, you can just paint the, the, the inside of it. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, see, I, that so, I like. Yeah, so exactly. So the inside black. So then it pops out. Yeah. Either way, see, that's what I mean. So you're going to do some kind of contrast to make it to make it pop. Yeah. So then, this is going to get pulled out again. And it's going to, I'm going to have the upholstery guy make me the tabs to fill in these gaps. Or even leave them like that. I just told him do do them the best you can. Well, why, why, well, if you get your buddy, you already got a template right here, right? Uh -huh. And then what you do is, when you lay this one over the top of the that carbon fiber one, you add that. You don't you don't trim that out. It's just he said he had he had like so much issues like sliding it in. This is the only way he. Oh no! Yeah 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 no! I mean um with your your buddy from uh, Carbonetics. Don't he? Yeah, but I might just stay this, but do Alcantara. Oh, okay. Okay. So just like clean, <laughs> yeah. like like GT3. Okay. RS. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. well, so excuse me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No. I love how the dash looks. Right? Yeah. No. Yeah. We get. Yeah, so the, the center console was just I just test fitting it right now, and mm -hmm. it did it did move it a little, so it doesn't sit right. Yeah. But uh, I, if I could keep center console. Maybe, or if I get that, that, that shifter, that cool ass shifter, then I won't, I won't put the center console. Yeah. Yeah, all right. We'll, we'll see once the seats are in and everything, and once it, everything's one color, then it's going to, then I'm not going to want to have no interior pieces. We'll see. Yeah, no, I, yeah, it's, like I said, it's, I, <laughs> you can put, you can put a seat in this thing right now and get it running, and I will freaking drive this thing. Like no tomorrow. I, I like the raw finish because this this is this, I'm more geared towards the race car side of things. I like this look. Like I like the the you know yeah. the, the 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 heat. You know people like the they like the spray paint over that. They don't want to see none of that. Hey, you know this all this TIG weld, this MIG weld. That's all part of the process. I, I like to keep all that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's the that's what makes the car right. Like this is time right here. This is this that's all time to my TIG. To put this in, like, look at this thing, man. This is <laughs> that's solid. But I, I gotta say, I, I really like door bars. It, the, the way he tied these door bars into the. All right, tell him next time. You know, poke the hole out, bring them through. Yeah. Right off front. But then, that, them out. But, but then you can't go through here. <laughs> no, they say they, they no, they cheat. No, they, they, yeah, they, they cheat just yeah, from here. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's all. Because because you still have the frame here, yeah, so yeah. it's it's okay. So that's. That's why they let you, uh, like, kind of get by with all that. But uh, no, man. Then I'm gonna put the braces on. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna grab them. Well, here's another one. Sorry. So what does that do for your uh, door uh, mount? Does it? It's gonna. It, it, does it, it pop it, it out? It might kick out. Yeah, right. It, 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 it should kick it out. The difference. The difference. Yeah. Okay. Because it ain't that ain't bad though. Because there's no shims. Yeah. So what? Yeah. What I'll what I'll do is these will be like like the ones I have. So the difference between mine and this, mine kinks up a little, uh -huh. and it comes this way, and they're a little thicker bar. Oh, okay. 
So my, mine are yeah, similar mounts and everything. It's just a sticker and it, instead of going straight, it kicks up a little bit. But it's gonna, I mean, at this point, I don't think it's gonna do much with the, because of the cage. No, no, it will. It will because well, remember, ca your cage doesn't tie to, your cage doesn't tie the front. front. Right, your cage stops here. So your cage stops from, flex from everything in your back. But from here, it's gonna help this room. Because, yeah, exactly. Because what what this is gonna do is say you're say you're uh, at uh, Button Willow, whatever, right? Yeah. And you're going down going down on those heels, and you're taking a turn. So now th this tire right here is lower than that tire over there. So there's your flex right there, and and you're turning. So you got the the G's pulling you, and then your frame is gonna go. This, I mean, look. This is all you got. You got this bar here and this. This could, that will easily this at one point in time, this and this will be on two different levels. And there's your flex right there. Yeah. That's what everybody's trying to stop, right? Because it 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 hurts the grip, right? So then that's when those come in. Yeah, this and, and, the, and the bar in front. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So no, those. That's it. All that all that turning stuff. So I'll let you have your you know you finish this up. I'll let you have all your fun with it, and then I'll. Take it off your hands, <laughs> so I can start driving in the circles and doing some left turns too, instead of going straight. <laughs> hey, did, I, did I just grab that? Oh goodness! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, but I seriously, this thing is great, man. Came out really good. I'm super stoked. Yeah, oh, you have to be, all right? a lot more than a body kit right <laughs> right this is significant right here so I, that's why i knew that i i couldn't cheat on i couldn't go cheap on this no nah, well no i mean it's, it's it's safety um you definitely you know depending on what you're trying to do with the car is going to determine how much cage you need right um and at the same time you don't want you want it to look good and so so for me it was obviously the safety and the person what knew what they were doing yeah but at the end of the day is what was that what, what, what uh, to me that doesn't have a price right so especially when it comes the main focus of this car is the cage now and ah, so but it, but not for long right yeah. for right now because it's at this stage but once yeah, yeah once, once yeah. this gets full people are like, oh yeah that's a great cage but you know yeah. the, you know how dsm guys are they're all okay well let's see you know they're all in the air and then they're they want to go, then they'll start, oh, oh yeah, that, that looks good, but man, it's good with turbos. What, what turbo is that? What, what wheel? Yeah, yeah. What exhaust? What AR, but, right? But the track guys, they're going to be like, oh, yeah. oh shit. Yeah, they're going to check. Yeah, they're, because that's what everybody wants to see. Just, oh, who did you cage? Who did yeah. it? Where did it done? Because they're really about track. That's it, yeah, exactly. This is exactly. This is exactly what it is, man. And but this right here, though, this is, this is on a different level. It is, right? This is a different level right here. Because he took out the factory ones, right? Yeah. Right here. Right? I need, I need to take these out this time. Looks like there's a pinch bow. Yeah, but I would just solve them. I would just cut them off. Yeah. I would not touch the top. But uh, yeah, no, this 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 is on a different level. I really like this box right here. Now the floor. Amazing. And then this. This like, yep. You can pull this thing down the hill on its roof. Just like those Subaru rally car, you ever see them when they go over? Little little wrinkles in there, and that's it. <laughs> Flip it over and keep driving. <laughs> you know. But uh, yeah. yeah, this this one, I don't know. Depending on the gas tank and how we mount it and how we do everything, then this most likely is going to be cut out. Or depending on how he figures the the, the weight or the yeah, the the, trim, the weight and uh, how. Oh, you mean for like uh, corner balance? For the, yeah, for a fuel cell. Uh, okay, well. Well, the reason is the best place is the middle. For he said that's why the gas tank is. There. Well, because because your rear. Some too. That's yeah. So he but we'll, he said we'll do something, and he's even doing about floor uh, uh, those 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 pan those floor floor pan a floor pan. Out of what, like uh, some kind of uh, steel? Thin, thin a look, steel, okay. Then still, that's what I did in my back. Hashtag thin steel, but yeah. yeah I see, he wants to throw some more stuff in there, so I was like, all right. So busy model knows about this car, so maybe he could mess with the two. I don't know if the, the tuning or something. I don't know. I don't know if he can. But. Tell busy. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, if Rizzy's gonna get involved with it, I mean, definitely that you know that would suggest AM wants to get involved with it. So I think if, if that's the direction, then I would, yeah, go for it. Man. So the reason the whole the whole thing is AM is because Sam knows the owner and he works with them and Busy works with them. So putting Busy, even if Busy doesn't touch it, even if Busy just around it and sees it and we have footage with him with the car somehow, then that itself would just blow up. Just because of who he is. Yeah, no, yeah, he's, he's definitely one of the originators back in, you know, back in the day. Stuff, especially with you know, in that whole Honda realm, you know, yeah. you know busy motor, he has you know, about pretty much everything. Highly respected amongst the aftermarket community. Um, so yeah, I love that. <laughs> Definitely, like if he, <laughs> I mean, if you can make that connection happen through you know Sam or whoever, I would go for it one hundred percent because. That is some like next level type stuff. You know what I mean? Like that's some yeah. like some stuff your your average model, you know, car guy is not gonna be doing Who knows what they can do once they say, Oh, you know what? We can take you from here, we'll help you with this, we'll help you with that. It's like, wow, I didn't even think of that. You know, they got people. you know, heck if I'm not mistaken, he's like an engineer anyways. Is he? Right? So uh yeah, like, so we don't even know. We pick his brain, you know. He, he might just be like, yeah, hold on. Let's say, hey, hey, let's put the seat. Let's put the seat in the middle. Sam did, Sam did that. Right? They yes. did it for a reason. Yep. And that was a Porsche. Yep. So you think already a Porsche and, is already. And the, the, the pedals are adjustable. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I saw how they did the floor and all yeah. that stuff like that. Sam did all yeah, that. Yeah. Well, yeah, actually, I saw it on his uh, his uh, Instagram. Yeah, I thought that was I thought that was awesome. Yeah, he got down. Yeah, man, so. That's uh, that's some cool stuff though. That I already have the snow tires on him. I actually like those snow tires. <laughs> They're pretty cool looking. Cause I never, I've never, you know, I'm Cali man. I ain't never seen no snow tires on no car. And it looks like they had like little metal rivets in there for if you wanted to put the nail. The yeah, you could. <laughs> is that what that is? I think you could put them in. There. Yeah, I'm like wow. On the little holes. Yeah, those holes. Yeah, you could put rivets in there. Yeah, but wow, they're so like a low pro too. Snow tire and low pro. What a thirty fives, I think. Maybe he was driving his car and in the snow. Five. No, I don't think so. I don't even know how that happened. Dude. Oh, really? Because it was an old man from El Cajon. It was his car. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that somebody just had him and he just threw him on there. Yeah, the interesting thing is, it's like, like, you don't really see rust on the clips in California. Nope. Right? 